Hello and welcome to the kind of final part of mine and Tony's uh, trip through Wales. Uh, I'll warn you in advance that this one does finish early because my battery went flat on the camera. Uh, I thought I got it to charge in the USB socket, it wasn't all the way in. Uh, so last time we obviously we arrived in Hollyhead and you can see us pulling out from the B&B. Um, nice quiet night, uh, the landlady was lovely, the breakfast was actually exceptionally good. Uh, so I'd recommend the, the Applebee's B&B if you like a breakfast. Although she kind of inferred she was going to give it up before too long, so uh, so maybe it's not going to be there. But as you can see, uh, this is his last day. We've got to get back to Sheffield, so we kind of set off. And, and I love it this time in the morning. We've probably set off about nine o'clock ish here. Uh, you can see sky's nice and clear. Uh, it's got that kind of morning light about it. Uh, roads kind of quiet enough. They weren't too much about. Um, but then Hollywood is right at the end of Anglesey, of course. Uh, and, I, and I love it when it's the first thing in the morning, you get out on the bike, you feel like the day's got so much potential, like where could you go, what could you do? And certainly that's that's how me and Tony felt this day, setting off. And as we come out, you can see, I think we got there just as the ferry must have turned up, because you can see all the cars coming down the left-hand side, because the, the, the ferry to, to Ireland is there. Um, that's something I think me and Tony will do on another trip, I quite fancy going to Ireland, fancy going up the wild west Atlantic coast. So uh, there's obviously an opportunity to do that at some point. Um, I might not stay in Hollywood though, I might just go straight straight across. Because, to we'll be honest, we, we stayed there and while we found a pub or two and they were quite friendly. It's quite rowdy. It's very surprising. So anyhow, we get back on the A55. Um, and then we, we come off just after coming by PG. And you can see I'm looking across there at the Menai Bridge. In fact, look, I'm even pointing at it. Um, and that's because we went over one bridge on the way in. We went over the, the Britannia Bridge and I said, no, nope, let's go over the Millennium, the uh, Menai Bridge on the way out because I seem to remember it being much nicer. And, and that's kind of a running theme of this video. There's, there's quite a few bridges. Uh, I do love a good bridge. Me and Tony have been known to go up to the Humber Bridge just to go over the Humber Bridge and that's his destination for the day. But here we go, Menai Bridge. Now, I don't know the details, but I think this was the first one. Um, this, I'm assuming, was built a while back. I love that kind of stone and suspension big construction you've got going off here. Uh, there's a nice view to the left and right. If, if you're Welsh, you might know a program called Round and Round, which I think is filmed in the shadow of the Menai Bridge. Um, I don't watch it that much. My wife watches Publicon, so, you know, that's why I know about these things. But yeah, it's nice if you get a chance to go and ride across it. So it's not it's not a big bridge. There's a, there's a nice garage on the other side, which didn't have any of the uh, advanced fuel. Uh, I knew we were going to be on the A55 for quite a bit today, which is almost a motorway. So I do like to put the, the 97 stuff in if I can, because the Inglaterra seems to run a little bit better on it. You've only got 24 horsepower, you need to do as much as you can. Uh, so yeah, you see the, the super strong fuel, always put a lit in if I'm going to do a big run. It's nice to put a tank through once in a while, just to, to keep it in line. And this bit, it's the A55, I like this bit, as you, as you come off Hollyhead and you, you basically come past Bangor away come because as you come up here across the top of the north coast, You've got all these kind of weird little tunnels which go out to sea um, and you get a lovely view down the coastline. Um, I left this one a little bit longer because I thought, oh, it's quite nice this. Um, there's a speed limit here, that's why we're doing about 30. Um, but look at it, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, see I make computer games for a living so this always reminds me of Ridge Racer, which is a, <laughs> it's a classic Japanese uh, Namco racing game from whatever. We've kind of got walls on one side and the coastline on the other. You know, if, if this was Ridge Race, there'd be an airplane coming into land about now. Uh, but yeah, it's like I say, it's, it's kind of kind of pleasant enough. I think once you get past Conway, the A55 sort of gets a bit boring and monotonous, like the way most motorways do. But this bit I quite like, you know, you can see there it is. Watch the subtle signaling to Tony to pull out here. Wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, you got a slight nod of the head, and out he comes. Uh, we, we, we tend to keep an eye on each other in mirrors and if we're on the motorways, you know, if I manage to get out before he does, I always wait and let him come out and then they spend God knows how long trying to accelerate back up to speed. But again, um, another one, uh, this is it, just again coming around this bit of like kind of cliff face and that. I just love this. I'd love to know what's off to that left hand side. I don't think you're supposed to go down there, but you know, I bet there's a decent view from there. And uh, just a bit of tunnels and stuff. And of course, you can't hear it, but in this in this tunnel behind Tony, that exhaust is bloody loud. Honestly, you should get an ASBO for that. And I know our berators exhaust all the time, but oh my god, you should hear it. It's so, so loud. It's ridiculous. It don't help you ain't got the baffling. Um, every time we go off road, nobody worry about scaring all the animals for about four miles. But again, a little bit of ridge racer, tipping into the left up, kind of coming around with all these cliffs. I'm hoping there's no boulders coming down. That'd be a. I sat into a ride back from Wales once it, but uh, 
yeah, you can see. And it's it's just a nice bit of road, like this bit. And you know, I can't I, like I say, I kind of enjoy this bit, even if I don't like it once you get past Conway. And speaking of Conway, of course, this is us and uh, the tunnel which comes up under Con it comes out of just at Conway basically. If you, if you take the junction off here, you'd wind up going into Conway at Conway Castle. And I only know that because I went back recently in uh, my wife's got a camper van, so we went back in the camper van rather than the motorbikes. And oh my god, it was a nice day here, but it wasn't a nice day when we did that. And we stuck with A55 for a bit, and then we come off at towing. Uh, we wanted to kind of go across the coast road because, you know, we've got a bit of time on our hands, it's still still early morning. So we came off at towing, and this road eventually kind of runs into Rill. Um, came here for a holiday years back, staying on the campsite. Not something I'm going to rush to repeat, if I'm being honest. Uh, it was loud, it was rowdy, everybody was drunk, and the only way I'd managed to deal with it was just to get as equally drunk as they were, because at that point I could like kind of blot out the the shouting and the, the fighting and the well the humping to be to be blunt. <laughs> and then after we've come on up, of course, well we come down. Look, any opportunity to put another bridge on video? Uh, this is a bridge as you actually turn into real. Uh, I think there's a harbour on one side it goes in. Um, we didn't stop at Rill. Uh, I've been to Rill quite a few times before. Uh, years back, I went there once, and there's like a boating lake off to the right somewhere, and it was full of jellyfish. I've never seen so many jellyfish in my life. But as you'd expect, we had to run down the prom. There's arcades and stuff and shops. It looks like it's been built up quite recently, because I remember it being fairly run down um, on previous kind of trips here. Uh, you see me looking to the left here, because I'm sure there used to be like a thing which was like a best way I can describe it is like one of those things which shoots up into the sky but instead it had like a UFO thing around it it used to raise up and you could see a long way down the coastline you know in, in one of those kind of ways that kids now would find that the most disappointing ride ever but I still quite liked it had a couple of roundabouts in, in kind of real town centre the uh, ubiquitous B&M bargains there if you need to go and get some cheap booze and sports direct if you need to go and buy some cheap trainers um, it's nicely built up in other bits and pieces but you know it's still it's still not what I consider a classy town wheel. <laughs> I kind of like it though. It appeals to the inside Sheffield lad in me. And this is it. So we had to run down the coast. Um, and to be clear, this is a bit of uh, self-indulgence. We pulled over in Prestatin. So Prestatin is important for me because I, I used to work at Pontins many, many years ago. And that's when I met my wife. So even though I make video games today, I used to be a barman at Pontins. And so... I thought oh, that'd be quite nice to go to Prestatin and just see how it is because I've not, not been there for a while because it would have been about oh I don't know 20, 20 odd years back probably more than that when I when I worked at Pontus and Metsonia so uh, so we pulled up and it's all been done up the front of Prestatin it's like all this new kind of leisure complex um, we didn't go and look at that because we wanted to go to the arcade and have a cup of tea which is uh, pretty much what we did so we got off we walked over. Uh, Tony had to go and have a tiddly in a bush because we couldn't find any loose. Uh, and then we had a nice cup of tea and some Kit Kats. And then we set off bike. So we, we, we set off and then first of all I wanted to get back out onto the road. Um, you'll watch how Tony goes the wrong way here because I said told him to turn left uh, and he went straight on. I did indicate and did beep at him. You can see his head turns briefly, he spots the fact I'm going the other way. And then I took my time going around this bit while he turned around and come to catch up with me. Because I, I wanted to go this way because again um, down this road is where Pontins was, and I wanted to go past and have a look at it and see if it looked as uh, as grim as I remembered it being. Um, I wouldn't say it's not a great place to go on holiday, but from the outside it does look a bit like Stalag Luft, you know, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the places where you stay and they're like still built out of brick and there's a massive metal fence. Look, if you look on the right hand side you'll see what I mean. It's kind of got this big massive security fence to stop people getting in and getting out, you know, because you know, they don't want people getting in there to pay over price money for drinks, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of weird. The chalet on the right here is actually where I used to live, uh, so it's kind of a bit of a blast from the past. So I always, always like to go past and just have a look in. Uh, one of these days I'm going to go back there for a little little holiday, just see if it's as, uh, as, as I remember. Um, I remember working there was great because all the people were young and you know that time you know the, the work people tend to become your family so we kind of supported each other but it's a uh, yes it feels like another lifetime there. you've got a life haven't you I had a quick look through the gate to see whether I could see the security guards I thought do I want to go in nah nah we'll leave them to it and so we set off bike so we, we kind of went down the coast road and again opportunity to go over the bridge um, 
any excuse to film a bridge so this is this is one we did and we were trying to head towards Chester to come down the A51 so we could work his way across the top and his plan was to go kind of that way towards Wilmslow then back through um, Macclesfield uh, over the Cat and Fiddle which is kind of the way we went and we, we ended up back on the 51 for a bit um, well actually we ended up back on the A55 and we missed the turn off as we typically do because we were supposed to go straight on this roundabout but it's really kind of badly signposted so we ended up coming back down the A55 and then we ended up coming up <laughs> over the Queen's Ferry Bridge so I was happy enough you know another excuse to go over a bridge for me and get some film um, and then eventually we did actually remember the right way and we did head towards uh, Chester as I say went round Chester and then gone to the A51 uh, and that was kind of it and you know it, it kind of got into these kind of bigger straighter roads um, you can do it we we needed to get back so you know I, I in my mind I wanted to get back to have a, have a pint and text on your because I've not seen it for four days and it's on his mind you know we should go back the long way around so we, we did go through Michaelsfield and we did go back through Buxton uh, and it's a nice ride but uh, I'll be honest with you I think what we should have done rather stayed at Hollyhead we should have probably stayed Prestati or stayed somewhere a bit closer to home because it, it is a bit of a trek this um, if you saw the Google Maps page it's like three and a half hours if you take the bike wheels right going down the motorway and it's it's a fair journey but you know we, we did it and the sat nav sent us down some weird ass little roads so again nice country lanes I'm not unhappy to do that uh, except of course sometimes you come down these country lanes and you run into uh, I want to say slow moving traffic so in this case there was a tractor um, what I didn't know is in front of this tractor there was another tractor um, what they were doing or where they were going is anybody's guess but I do know it took us a while to get down this road which came out towards Macclesfield uh, sadly after this bit the camera went flat I did warn you at the start so we didn't get some of the nice roads across the top of Bucks and the Dales but don't worry uh, that's eminently close to us so we'll be recording some footage on that in the near future other than that, I hope you've enjoyed uh, a little glimpse of our little silly adventure to Wales and hopefully it's given you some inspiration and the maps are there for some of the nice roads uh, and hopefully you kind of enjoyed it. And I think, you know, once we see these tractors go around the corner, that's kind of it. A finishing shot, me and Tony drinking tea. Thank you very much for watching.